Welcome back everybody. We're ready to spray paint on the chassis. We are not doing wheel centers today. We're just doing everything in the middle right here. So we're all masked and corked and covered and everything is ready to go. We got it propped up so I can get down underneath, get a good coating on the bottom. And if we have any surplus primer and paint, I've got a lot of uh, wheel clamp hardware and I can even retouch the uh, wheel weights. These were done with uh, the professional grade paint we put on the super in the last time so it's a good uh, surface that's still intact i just scuffed it give it a little bit of tooth and we can just hit that with the color so everything's set out here um we'll just see how it goes also come on man get the camera pointed at you we're also um trying out the new paint gun today and uh for painting i need to be able to see and to see I need to wear glasses and if I'm wearing glasses I don't want to have any overspray on them so I'll be using the air supply hood as well I've worn that before and the comment section has said you don't need that for that paint I know I don't need that for that paint but well, I don't want to have speckles all over my glasses so that's that comment section can like it or not <laughs> it doesn't matter to me all right time for some primer let's get rolling Well, everyone, change of plans. I had not intended on spraying these wheel centers at all today, but we're done with the chassis. I'm done with one side of the hardware. I'm letting that uh, tack up just a little bit more before we flip it. And getting used to that new paint gun, our paint consumption rate is significantly different with this than with the old one. And I've got probably two thirds of a cup of primer mixed up that I don't want to dump out. So. I'm not going to hit the rims because we're going to roll on those yet today, but the centers, I think I can hit both sides. We can at least use that primer up so I don't have to dump it out. So we're giving the wheel centers the surface prep here real quick so we can get hopefully most of that primer used up. So the primer coat went pretty well after I decided to break down and do those wheel centers as well. I know it's a bit dark with the camera under this canopy, but I wanted to keep it all in the shade to kind of, uh, well, not let the first 
part that I painted get too far ahead of me so that when I work my way back around to it, I get like a flash line. So we do two coats of the red now, and um, I'm probably going to do the first coat of the red in the shade, and then I'll roll the canopy back because I can see a little bit better, and we'll do the second coat in the bright sun. Senior's got the red well on the way to being mixed right now. So we're just doing the center section with the red. We're not doing the wheels. We aren't doing the hardware. So I'm hoping this, uh, this red batch goes quite a bit quicker. That looks good. Yep. There it is, everybody. This has been day one of two of the first real painting that is done on the Preparation H project. All in all, I have to say I'm pretty happy with it. Other than the fact that these GoPros never really show through with the reds very well. If I tweak the saturation, there, that's better. That's what it looks like uh, with the eye, all right? GoPros, for some reason, just don't like these deep reds. but. We've got that far on jack stands, pretty much sitting at curb height. And the work for tomorrow is lined up. We've got both of the wheel centers and the wheel weights up on the little feet stands that we made for, well, for them back when we did the Super M. So um, I think we're at a good point to break away for tonight. I've got the mess cleaned up. Oh, I've got one more um, air dryer to take apart for the, uh, the airline for the paint gun. After that, we'll be done for today and we'll hit the ground running again tomorrow morning. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. A few details I need to address before we resume the painting. I'm putting all the fixed position rim clamps on both of the wheel hubs because, well, when we did the Super M, I painted all these pieces individually and there ended up being so many paint layers between everything that I had to retighten 
all of the rim clamps about three times before everything finally collapsed and stopped moving. So I just did kind of a primer coat on everything yesterday. Figured I'll cut down on the layers between all the pieces, plus it'll give me a little bit of corrosion protection. So just about finished with these. Also today, more paint gun adjustments. I'm getting used to this new 3M PPS gun. So far, I like it. There's some things I really like about it, like the cleanup. When you take the cup off and then you take this replaceable nozzle off, you just have whatever missed it on the body of the gun and a little bit of paint out on the needle to clean and you're done. Uh, what I don't like about it, it's quite a bit faster than my old one and I like painting slow. At least I, I'm so used to it. I don't deal well with change or new things or stick with what works I'm happy forever but that's it, we're getting off track I noticed uh, watching some of the footage back from yesterday I was getting a bit of overspray so I did make a couple of fan knob and volume fluid volume knob adjustments yesterday I keep track of everything I do so I know where I've been and where I'm going I'm gonna kick the air pressure down a bit and my old painting hose the end is starting to wear out we get a little bit of leakage there but um, I've been about 16 PSI, and I'm going to take it down to about 12. Yeah, we're a good 12 PSI regulated pressure going into the gun right now. So I'll see if that cuts down on the overspray at all. And then if I have to also readjust the fluid and the volume knobs too. It's I do a batch, see how it turns out, do a batch, see how it turns out. We'll get it there. And I found a new end for the air hose. I still had one left. So get that sleeve back. Let's see if that's any better. Yep. Very good. Senior says the first primer batch is ready. Ready. Only primer batch today. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's go. I think I'm liking that lower air pressure setting already. Okay, everybody, the priming's been finished for about an hour, so we're ready to start spraying the color again. And I don't know if you all heard me when I had the hood on, but I said that since I dropped that air pressure from 16 down to 12, the primer sprayed noticeably better. Not so much of it just exhausting off into the air, so I'm hoping the red does the same thing. Senior's just about done with the first batch of that, and we're going eight parts paint, two parts reducer to one part hardener as specified by the manufacturer. It's been spraying pretty well so far. So as soon as he gets that mixed up, we'll be ready to go again.
Okay, everybody. Breakdown of the gun. Just get all the paint out of there. With the exception of the outer cup, those pieces are basically disposable. Here's pretty much what you've got left to clean around the end of that needle. And whatever mist got on the gun. As you can see, I cover my regulator with a piece of plastic that just helps keep that a lot cleaner. This can be tossed. The lid has the uh, screen in it. That can be tossed. And the liner comes out of the cup. Liner can be tossed. We just about used it all. We've got a little bit surplus, but I don't mind. That's not very much to have to throw out. So this gets reused again. We can clean that up as well. Exterior along with the gun. That's about all you have to do. All right, everybody, batch number one of the Preparation H paint job complete. Have everything ready to put the back wheels onto the back axles as soon as I finish the finish on the back axles. So how's that? All the hardware is ready and I'm happy with how it looks so far. We're well on the way to having the old H looking the way I always hoped it would. Uh, the paint gun, I'm slowly making friends with it. Uh, I'm not a professional painter by any means. I can just make things shiny. I think we'll get there eventually, but I turned it down yet again today because, well, yesterday we started out 16 PSI regulated air with the adjustment knobs two and four turns open. Today I ended up all the way down at 10 PSI air with uh, three quarter and two and a half turns open a piece. And I think I can even take the volume knob down a little bit more because a couple times it got a little bit heavy on me today, almost to the point it was getting away, but uh, I'll just keep playing with it and I I gotta admit at first. I thought it seemed awfully wasteful I am liking the disposable nozzles and the disposable uh, liners um, You know the nozzles everything you just get in bags. I was using the 1.4 millimeter ones today We've got 1.3 and 1.2s back there, but click that thing right on the front You're good to go if you don't feel like cleaning it throw it away when you're done and they sell boxes and boxes of liners and lids so we did get three uses though out of the last nozzle and the last liner and lid today so if you if you don't let any of that stuff really set up and you keep the paint rather fluid on it and just take it apart clean the lip dump the next batch in put it together before any of that stuff starts to tack up we got multiple uses out of them easy and we even held one out from last night and cleaned it and that's what we started the day with today so It'd be interesting to see how many uses I can get out of each one of those because we're not in a high pressure production setting. I can see where a professional shop would just can it after each batch and move on. We can afford to spend a little bit more time. So the next step is going to be, well, blacking those axles and then getting all this stuff that is in paint put together. And that should hopefully free up some space in the shop. Really ready for that. Thank you for watching everyone. We will keep busy here. Hope to see y'all back for the next episode.